I mean, like, uh, but still, even with the objectives of how to build a bioweapon, for example, I think something you've commented on, or at least uh, there's a paper where a collection of researchers is trying to understand the social impacts of these uh, LLMs. Mm -hmm. And I guess one threshold is nice is like, does the LLM make it any easier than a, than a search would, like a Google search would? Right. So the increasing uh, number of studies on this seems to point to the fact that it doesn't help. So having an LLM doesn't help you right. uh, design a, or build a bioweapon or a chemical weapon if you already have access to uh, you know, a search engine and a library. Uh, and, and so the, the sort of increased information you get or the ease with which you get it doesn't really help you. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is, it's one thing to have a list of instructions of how to make a, a chemical weapon, for example, or a bioweapon. It's another thing to actually build it. And it's much harder than you might think, and an LLM will not help you with that. Um, in fact, you know, nobody in the world, not even like, you know, countries use bioweapons because most of the time they have no idea how to protect their own populations against it. So, um, so it's too dangerous actually to kind of ever use. Um, and it's in fact banned by uh, uh, international treaties. Um, chemical weapons is, is different. It's also banned by treaties, uh, but, um, uh, but it's the same problem. It's difficult to use in situations that doesn't turn against the perpetrators. But we could ask Elon Musk, like I can, I can give you a very precise list of instructions of how you build a rocket engine. Mm -hmm. And even if you have a team of 50 engineers that are really experienced building it, you're still gonna have to blow up a dozen of them before you get one that works. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, it's the same with uh, you know, the chemical weapons or bioweapons or things like this. You, it requires expertise you know, in, the, in the real world that an underline is not gonna help you with. And it requires even the common sense expertise that we've been talking about, which is how to take uh, language-based instructions and materialize them in the physical world it requires a lot of knowledge that's not in the instructions. Yeah, exactly. A lot of biologists have posted on this actually in response to those things saying like, do you realize how hard it is to actually do the, the lab work? And like, you know, this is not trivial. Yeah, and that's Hans Marvick. Comes, comes to light once again.